was commissioned to make this film by Pinsella Cheese. The firm asked me to visit three of the most renowned female paper cutting artists in China, and to hand each of them a topic for an art project. My name is Yu Hao. I'm originally from Beijing. I have lived here in the Upper Cella Land for five years, and I work for a foundation in the House Upper Cella in Zurich. In the next days, my colleague and I will travel to China to ask the artists to depict the three different stages in the process of making Upper Cella cheese through paper cuttings. The three pieces of paper cuttings will be laid down. Printed on the cotton bags. We first travel from Appenzell to Zurich International Airport, where we board the plane to Beijing. After a brief stopover, we continue our journey through the provinces of Shanxi, Sichuan, and Inner Mongolia. The art of paper cutting originated in China and is more than 1,500 years old. The many different symbols and figures used to reflect China's manifold regional, cultural, and historical features. For about 400 years, paper cutting has been a traditional handicraft in Switzerland too. It is mainly used to record special moments, objects, and rituals visually. I soon became fascinated by the pictures of the Swiss Alpine cattle drives. The ladies who we are going to visit are outstanding paper cutting artists, and also excellent storytellers. They were already quite familiar with the culture of the Upper Cella Land, because about three years ago, they had been invited to spend some time in this particular part of Switzerland to create paper cuttings for an art exhibition, East with West. From Beijing, a small plane takes us to Yan'an, Mao Zedong's former headquarter. From where we drive to Jingbian to meet Hua Yuxiu. Hua Yuxiu has been creating paper cuttings for more than 30 years. And is said to be one of the best storytellers. She cuts her stories out of sheets of paper. For this project, she focuses on the topic of dairy. The topic of my paper cutting is dairy, which is set against the background of the mountains and the relief of the Upper Cella Land. In the corner, we can see a herdsman milking. Here is a bear carrying a loaf of cheese into the storeroom, and here we can see how the curds are being stirred. At the bottom, a farmer is checking whether the milk is ready for the cheese making process. While I was making the sketches for the logo of Appenzell cheese, I thought of the old Chinese scripts, which were written from right to left. Then it came to my mind that Appenzell cheese had a long history and an old tradition too, and I decided to write the logo from right to left, just as in the old Chinese scripts. We continue our journey and travel to the province of the Panda Bears. The artist Huang Ying lives in Minyang. Parts of which were totally destroyed by an earthquake in 2010. She drives us to Beichuan, the epicenter of the earthquake, which has meanwhile been rebuilt.
The characteristic features of Huang Ying's cuttings are the shapes of the humans and animals, which she combines. For our project, she focuses on the topic of Alp. Above all, I would like to show you how important the cows are for you. They are wonderful animals and bring the Appenzell farmer good luck. That's the reason why I use a cow to illustrate the topic of Alp. I put the scentis, the cheese making equipment, and the cowbell into this cow and turn the tail of the animal upwards. It encircles the sun. The sun means hope for us. The head of the cow contains all the utensils used for cheese making. Have a quick look at the nostrils. There are two different wooden buckets. The nose is actually a curled hub, which is used to stir the milk in the van. The two sides of the nose contain two brushes for rubbing salt into the cheese, and in the ears of the cow, there are two brushes used for cleaning. The eyes are actually ladles, which are used to scoop up the curls, and the pupil right in the center is a loaf for freshly made cheese. At the top, there are the molds made of tin. The last leg of our journey takes us to Balto in Inner Mongolia to see Professor Wang Hongchuan. In this province, many remains of the Buddhist culture are still visible. Wang Hongchuan has her own studio, and apart from lecturing as a professor at the university, she teaches young people painting. Her paper cuttings reflect the genuine wild and primitive side of Inner Mongolia. In her work, she tries to deal with the deeper meaning of a topic. For our project, she focuses on the topic of secret. I cut the shape of a four-leafed clover leaf out of the middle of my sheet of paper. I had found such a clover leaf in Switzerland myself and heard that it brought the thunder good luck. This impressed me very much, and that's why I use this symbol for my project. The secret of the cheese is its delicious taste. But why does cheese taste so good and so unique? The Appenzell cheese is produced according to a special traditional recipe. This recipe has something to do with herbs. The major part of my paper cutting shows two farmers with bottles full of herbs pouring the contents over the cheese. At the bottom, there is a loaf of cheese. This here is a lamp which symbolizes the sun. The sun implies good luck and it brings us the light. Here are the seeds of the herbs. They grow into herbs every year. The two bears and the loaf of cheese in the middle of my cutting I found on the logo of the producer. At the bottom, there are three cowbells. The bird is a mascot, a lucky bird flying around with a fruit or a seed in its beak, which is a symbol of good luck in China. The bird brings the seed. It is a symbol of the union of yin and yang, and means that something is coming into existence and breeding. The flower on the girl's skirt is a peony. It symbolizes wealth, honor, and happiness. The three artists regarded the tasks which we set them as rather challenging. However, they were quite keen on interpreting them and simply fascinated by the topic of cheese. Accuracy, perfection, precision, transformation, craft and symbolism can all be found in the same work of art.